Today on News Review, vacation fraud, the Red Bull Air Race, Gordon Brown on the European Treaty Referendum, and Pakistanis celebrate Independence Day in the streets of London. Hi, I'm Doug, and you're watching We Show TV. Be careful when booking up the vacation of your dreams. You may be another fraud victim. This first report presents several examples of scams performed by travel agencies in order to take the consumer's money. But according to recent reports, millions of dollars are being lost on vacation dreams that never come true. Very often, the damage we find is not only lost money, but also dashed hopes and expectations. Outrageous maneuvers performed by the world's most courageous pilots. Flying just meters above the River Thames, they give a display of their amazing skill in the sixth leg of the Red Bull Air Race. At speeds of up to 400 kilometers per hour, pilots must navigate a series of obstacles against the clock. The air race is not just about speed, however. Precision can mean the difference between winning and losing. Gordon Brown began his premiership without bending on a key subject, the referendum on a new European treaty. Here you can watch the new Prime Minister's speech in Parliament. He also reserved the right for his government to refuse to sign the treaty without a referendum should Britain's EU partners try to break the four red lines won in negotiations. And we close today's review with a vibrant party held by the Pakistani community in the streets of London. They celebrated their country's Independence Day with a whole variety of cultural events. Take a look. The spirit and history of Pakistan were at the heart of the festival, commemorating 60 years since the country became independent. That's it for today. Join us next week for more online news here on We Show TV.